All right, we're going to try and do this the right way. What's going on? All right. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. <laughs> Tulsa Police Riverside. <laughs> What's going on? How y'all feel today? Welcome back to the Lockout Man podcast show. I really appreciate you guys clicking that play button when y'all see the notification go out. When y'all get the notification, y'all know that we drop videos on the dailies. So we're just going to jump right into this video. And as you've seen in the title, both of these guys got terminated from Snyder. Yes, sir. They got terminated from Snyder because of Snyder's electronic device policy. In other words, it's the recording while driving. Now, even though we as drivers like to show, I mean, like to show everything we like to do, some stuff is just not for, you know, not for show. You know what I'm saying? But see, a lot of new drivers need to understand this when y'all come into the industry because, yeah, y'all like to come in. Y'all like to record. Y'all y'all excited. Y'all want to get your documentary down. Y'all want to show it for views, likes, and all like that. I understand you're a millennial. Major carriers, they don't like you to hold the camera. They don't like you to hold the phone. Of course you can't hold the phone. It's illegal to hold any type of electronic device in your hand, whether it's a camera, phone, or anything of that matter. If it's an electronic device, then you're breaking company's policies. Let me tell you a little bit about company policy. You really, 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 really need to read it, okay? Because there are some underlying things that you might not catch. And then there are some stuff that once you once you break it, it's a one and done situation. The situation that happened to these two guys right here, Bobby Reach and Tiki, mirrored the same thing that happened to me when I was a rookie back over at US Express. Make sure you guys check out that video. That video will be linked in the description below. But without but without getting in too much details, man, let's check out and uh see the testimonies of both of these drivers former drivers of Snyder, starting with Tiki. The reason we're here is because of the title of the video. <laughs> so long story short, it's true. The title of the video is 100% accurate. Schneider officially let me go. If you guys aren't catching on to why exactly I got fired, let me go ahead and circle it, underline it for you guys so you guys clearly understand. I was terminated by Schneider for not abiding by their electronic use policy. And that's because I was recording while driving. And so here's the thing. It's not just recording while driving. It's interacting with the camera while driving. The operations manager had said, if you had mounted a camera on your windshield or your dashboard recorded without interacting with the camera, and then added commentary after that would have been completely acceptable so here's the thing the camera was mounted on top of his forehead though so i mean he was interacting with the camera but he wasn't holding it he didn't touch it he was just talking to himself like an imaginary audience while the camera is on his head so let's flip this for a second. The operations manager said, well, if you would have just recorded it and just added commentary later, what was the point of that? I didn't mess with the camera and it will still be recording. I don't get that. Uh, but because of the fact that you had it mounted on your head and you were interacting with the camera while driving, uh, that broke the policy rules. For you future drivers out there, you future Schneider drivers uh, or current Schneider drivers that want to create content, keep in mind the way you're going to have to record your content is by putting your camera on your dashboard or windshield and adding commentary after. If you How about this? How about not recording at all? <laughs> How about not recording at all, man? Look, Busy Blake said it best. If you're thinking about coming out here as a trucker to get your CDL, your CDL comes first. I swear. A lot of people want to be YouTubers, but the CDL, taking your CDL seriously at first, will be more important than YouTube. At first. If you get better down the road, securing your CDL and a year under your belt. That's exactly what happened 
to me. I, I was routed to the Tunnel Hill, uh, went in the, thinking that my truck needed to be fixed. I was getting my truck fixed. I was getting ready to go home. Everything that this guy, that, that happened to this guy pretty much mirrored what happened to me, uh, w with the exception of, of, you know, of the hometown part. But I was on my way home. <laughs> I was going to stop over at this uh at the Springfield terminal, get the Qualcomm fixed and then head home for the holiday. Unfortunately, I was told to come over to the Tunnel Hill and and very much the same conversation that I that he had with his with his manager was the same conversation that I had with the young lady. She told me, uh, thank you for coming in. What do you think he's here for? Uh, yada, yada, yada. And I was and when she told me that we had to let you go, I was surprised, shocked. And and yeah, but that was a learning experience for me back then, because I thought that just not having the uh having the camera in my hand was was good i thought it was strapped to my body i thought that was okay and everything but they felt that it was distracted driving so yeah it, it, it it's a head scratcher i know all right so that was tiki's testament of why he was fired from uh snyder let's get into the young man Bobby Reach. Now, with this young man, I did reach out to him. I, I I sent the email to him. I was very interested in the story uh, of what happened and why, you know. But unfortunately, this young man ghosts me. But brother man, let me tell you this before we get into your story. Everything is not content, bruh. Everything, well, every everything to you may be content but it's evidence for the company that you're working for. So everything that you put on line, don't think that the company will not find out. That's why you got to be real, real conscious of what you do, say, and put on social media. With that said, let's get into Bobby Reach's uh, story about why he was fired from Snyder. As the title says, this is not clickbait. This is not clickbait at all. I'm just gonna get straight into it. Your boy got fired today. <laughs> like, I literally got fired today, earlier this morning, prior around like, it wasn't really this morning, it was actually around like the afternoon. Hold up, I just wanna hold up right here. My man, <laughs> that cheese could light up a room, my bro. <laughs> Man, that cheese, that grill can light up a room, my guy. But uh, let's let me stop. Let's 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 continue. Instead of you saying get fired, they want to use terminated. They want to use let you go. We're gonna have to let you go. Like just say I, I got fired. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I seen it coming. As far as like the filming while driving thing, although they say that's distracted driving, I really don't think that's distracted driving because I'm talking to a camera that literally can't talk back. Now, see, that's where you might be a little bit wrong at, okay? Now, I get I get what you're saying, all right? But here's what I want to come back on. If you've seen it coming, bruh, if you've seen it coming and you knew that you was kind of finagling with company policy, then you should have pulled back. You know what I'm saying? You should have pulled back. But again, you're a rookie just like me. I didn't know the same thing that I was finagling with gray lines that once I, what I was doing, I thought it was cool. But then when the company looks at it this way, yeah, they, they see it a whole different way, bro. The only difference between me though is I record everything, right? So it's kind of like, you know what I'm saying? You record a case against yourself. like. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's why I always say, watch what you say, watch what you do, and watch what you put on social media because everything you feel as content, your company can use that as evidence against you. I'm talking to a camera 
that can't talk back and all of a sudden that's distracted driving hey it is what it is i knew what i was pretty much doing i knew what i was getting myself into the first time i started filming but me personally i thought filming and showing my journey and encouraging others to get up into this industry and really inspire and motivating people to go out and get their CDL and ultimately go get their experience through one of these companies, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I thought that was more important. You know what I'm saying? I even thought it was more important than the employment itself. You know what I'm saying? Bro. Lord have mercy. Bro, no, it is not important than the employment itself. Your CDL is important, bruh. It's more important than YouTube. It's more important than you filming. It's more important than anything. That is your career. That is what you spent your money on. That's where you spent your hard earned money and time to get. You're gonna sit there and tell us that filming is more important than the employment itself? Bro, you really don't need to be in this industry. If you're thinking about coming out here as a trucker to get your CDL, your CDL comes first, I swear. A lot of people wanna be YouTubers, but the CDL, taking your CDL seriously at first will be more important than YouTube, at first. If you get better down the road, securing your CDL and a year under your belt. That's what happened. They ultimately fired me because of the recording thing. They were looking at my channel. First and foremost, this is what he did tell me. He said he received over 200, over 200 emails about my channel and what I was doing, right? First off, I was like, 200 emails? Your boy popping like that out here? That's nothing to get excited about, my G. <laughs> that's nothing to get excited about when a company turns around and tells you that they got flooded with about over 200 emails that's a bad thing that's a red flag okay there's nothing to be popping about bruh see this is a learning experience for you as a rookie driver man you will learn he had a little bass in his voice you know what i'm saying like you know he had a little bass anyways he was like wada 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 yeah so We've been talking about you for about a day now, right? We've been talking about your videos for about a day. And long story short, you know, you know our policy. You're not supposed to be, you know, distracted driving. You're not supposed to be filming while you're driving. Okay, I knew that already, right? So if you want to let me go because of that, because of me making a conscious decision to do something, okay, I can respect that. I can take that lick, you know what I'm saying? I can walk with my head high. Simple as that. And then he gets to the rock video. He says, yeah, so um another thing too, you you were driving on a you was driving with a rock in your, your will and this, this, and that, and we can't have that. And unfortunately, we're gonna have to terminate you because it was that, and then you had the rock in your will, and then on top of that, we don't allow you to record DBO conversations. That's what he said, right? I'm not gonna say his name. Well, Bobby. <laughs> See there, bruh? You 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 take all of this and learn from it, my G. You're not the first, and you definitely won't be the last, my brother. You definitely won't be the last. But learn from this, my G. Learn from this. Learn that your CDL is important. Period. It's more important than anything out here, man. It's more important than you trying to get content. It's more important than you trying to go viral. It's more important than you trying to be a YouTube star. Your CDL is your golden ticket. It means that if you keep your CDL clean and, and, and free of issues, then you will be able to be picked up by any company out here. But unfortunately, being that you got this uh, camera issue on your jacket, and yes, it is on your jacket, that might pose a problem for you as an experienced truck driver to move on. Now, maybe it's because of your naiveness and your inexperience that another company may bring you on and they may overlook it but if they do 
again, like I said, use this as a learning tool to move forward. Not everything belongs on YouTube and not everything is content. And everything that you do put on YouTube, just know that your company is going to see it. If you're thinking about coming out here as a trucker to get your CDL, your CDL comes first. I swear. A lot of people want to be YouTubers, but the CDL, taking your CDL seriously at first will be more important than YouTube at first. If you get better down the road, securing your CDL and a year under your belt. And it's very scary to know that if I never recorded those videos, you guys won't even wouldn't even know half of all the bad stuff that a lot of newbies like me who really hasn't been trained that much is going through on this road. You guys want to throw people out into the world. You want to feed us to the wolves with one week and some change of experience and then expect for us to just be these perfect drivers. Well, I'm going to end it on that right there, y'all. If y'all want to see the rest of this content, make sure you go over to his channel, Bobby Reach. Uh, before we leave, and I just want to say this about what he just said, is, bro, they don't need you. <laughs> they Trust me, there is plenty of videos and plenty of information that Snyder already have on their drivers, bro. On their new drivers, on their veteran drivers. Trust me. They really did not need your content to know what other drivers or new drivers are doing. <laughs> Look, Bobby, man, listen, all right? If, if anything, please, man, just, you know, just concentrate on getting your experience out here, bro. Just, just do that, man. Just concentrate on getting your experience out here. Concentrate on being a safe driver. Concentrate on being a better driver, okay? Stop concentrating on being a YouTuber because YouTube don't pay you, bruh. Gonna pay you the 50K a year, the 60K a year, the 80K a year. YouTube is not gonna do that, bruh. Okay, trying to go viral, trying to get all the views and all like that. That's secondary, my G. That's secondary. Your CDLs and being the best driver you can be is primary. If you don't do that, then, bro, I guarantee you something serious will happen to you. And that you definitely don't want to put on video all right that's it y'all uh i appreciate all you guys listening thank you very much you know the best conversation starts over here on the lockout man podcast show yo bobby tiki the invitation is still out there to you we would love to have a conversation with you over here until next time everybody y'all take it easy lockout men out